got my sunglasses today. I can't see, <laughs> it's too bright. All right, so property is 2009. It's a pretty good looking property. And today I just wanted to show you some things that I found and things that could have easily been addressed before we even shown up. So let's call this one tips for sellers so the inspectors can't find anything. All right, let's go check it out. If you're about to put your house on the market and it's anything older than five years old, I'd recommend having a roofer come out, a roofer come out. Um, on average in Texas, you should have your house maintenance, your roof maintenance every four to five years just to help prevent those minor leaks showing up. So right here, you can see the flashing is lifting a little bit. And then right up here, you're not really gonna see it on the camera, but there's a little bitty fastener pushing through the shingles and it's actually caused some sheathing damage on the inside. Let me go show you that real quick. Okay, heading in the attic space up here. What I noticed is when I was doing my just a brief scan, I was looking at the decking and if you can see over there the the decking is a little rippled and so what made me look further over there so let me get over there real quick and you can see it's actually really soft in this area oh here it is that's where it's the softest and that's indicating that we have a small leak in this area from that fastener pushed through the next item that always shows up on my reports is actually the HVAC systems. And a lot of people, all they do is they come upstairs and they change out their filters. Well, property's 2008 and they have animals in here. And what happened is, is the actual return ducts are dirty and the coils are starting to leak a little bit of water in the pan indicating that it's dirty. Got great temperature differentials and they're still performing really well. But the thing is, is if you're putting your house on the market, it's a little bit older, it's always a good idea to have the units serviced and not just wait for the home inspector to call it out to be serviced. If you have those receipts saying, hey, I had the roof looked at, I had the HVAC serviced, there's gonna be less likely that we're gonna find something major on uh, these units. On one of the other items that we normally run into in the attic space is whenever they replace the water heaters, you can see they have a brand new ream water heater, is they don't do the flue properly. So plumbers are not roofers, so all they do is they come in, change the flue, pop it, pull it loose, pop it loose, put up, throw the new water heater and just rest it back down. But what they do is they create a water leak in this area. They break the seals on the roof and this unit starts to leak and then it even starts to cause some corrosion on the water heater. So if you do replace your water heaters, this will fall underneath your roof inspection. Make sure the roof is taken care of too. Okay, another item that would be easy to correct before the inspector shows up are actually these AFCIs. They're also known as arc fault circuit interrupters and they're, they're prone to failure. They're pretty cheap to replace. They're only about 40 or $50 a piece. And how you can test them is you just come in and you push the button here and you can see this one's not performing properly. That means uh, that it, it's, it has failed and you need to replace it. So it, it, it's easy to replace yourself, it's 40 to $50. But if an inspector calls it out, we recommend for a licensed electrician and that electrician on bare minimum will sh charge you labor of $200 just for showing up. So just come in, you can test the one below it. You can see it just trips. All you do is just want to see if it trips. If it doesn't, just correct it before we show up. All right, we're going to keep this video short. The last item that I want you to check as a seller is I recommend having a pool company come out and service your pool equipment before we show up. It's very common whenever as a home inspector I show up and I'm inspecting a pool that I find enough that we need a technician to come out and repair some items. On this pool, we had leaks at the equipment, the pool, the furnace isn't lighting up, uh, it has a service light on it, so that's pretty easy call out. The filter is leaking water too as well, and uh, some grout improvements around the pool, and then also we notice that the light is not working in the spa. All of these add up to a pretty big bill, and it's something that a buyer is normally gonna negotiate pool repairs. So this is something that I'd probably tackle before you even put your house on the market. Okay guys, if you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe and hit that bell and you'll get a notification for my next video. All right, catch you on the next one. Bye. Okay, one of the other items that we almost all the time is... <laughs> Start.